And now let's take a look at the illustrious life of Sardar Patel. Sardar Patel, in fact, is venerated as the chief architect of modern-day India, a man who kept India united at a time which is considered to be the most challenging in its 60-year-old history. Born in Gujarat, Sardar Patel was instrumental in unification of the country that was divided into numerous small kingdoms and princely states in the pre-independence era. It was his remarkable willpower and leadership that integrated 565 princely states with the Union of India. In his first deputy, Prime Minister came to be known as the Iron Man of India in recognition of his bravery and nationalism. The landscape of India that we see today would not have been possible without the vision of India's first Home Minister, Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Born in Gujarat, Sardar Patel was instrumental in the unification of the country that was divided into numerous small kingdoms and princely states in the pre-independence period. It was his remarkable willpower and leadership that integrated 565 princely states with the Union of India. India's first Deputy Prime Minister came to be known as the Iron Man of India in recognition of his bravery and nationalism. Just as Bismarck played an important role in the unification of Germany, Sardar Patel was central to the transformation of independent India into a large and unified country. Bismarck was referred to as the Iron Chancellor of Germany and Sardar came to be known as the Iron Man of India. The Narendra Modi-led government at the centre has decided to commemorate the visionary leader's birth anniversary on 31st October as Rashtriya Ekta Divas or National Unity Day. A unity run will be flagged off by PM Modi at 7 a.m. in the national capital to mark the day. Unity runs will be organized in every state and union territory as well. On this day, every citizen will take a pledge of national unity in a tribute to the visionary to whom India owes its unified existence. DD News.